is probably a play again. But today, as the title says, hashtag a yearathon ended last night, and here is my August 2015 wrap up book to movie and TV adaptations. I had a pretty small TBR and I met it, and I even read a little extra. Let's go through what I read on what days and when. So I started a little bit early because I was really bored and I really wanted to read The City of Ember, book one of The Book of Ember by Jeanne Duprat. This has a movie adaptation that I had seen, I'd never been interested in it, and then I read this and I really like it. It's quite good. I thought it was well done. It's not like phenomenal, it's not like Percy Jackson level good. Good, but I did enjoy it. I'm glad I have it and I need to get a new copy because my copy is a piece of crap and covered in sticky stuff because this is an old library edition. There's even food inside it. This I will recycle. I'm not selling it because it's just beat all to heck. It is barely readable and kind of gross to hold. So I need to replace this, but I did enjoy it. I read all 270 pages of that. I also started one book I really wanted to read, Four by Veronica Roth, the fourth and final book in the Divergent series. It's a collection of Divergent stories based around the character of Four, or Tobias Eaton, who turns out was the first character in this world ever created. Triss didn't exist. She tried it from Four and then she had to go to Triss because Four didn't work that well, but he stuck with her and so she wrote these short stories. I read 42 pages of that for a total of 312 pages. My daily goal was 135 or half of The City of Ember, so totally beat that. Day two, I read the last 242 pages of four, finishing this four out of five stars, really did enjoy it. The abuse was kind of hard to take and it was a little hard to grasp where we were in the universe because we were jumping all the time and there were some things that I really wanted to read like when Four found out about his mom and how. I was hoping to get that in this. You don't see that. That's a moment I would like to have seen. So four out of five stars. It way surpassed my 132 page goal bringing my week total up to 555 pages. Day three, I did pretty darn terrible. I started The Dark Knight Returns. I had read the first 61 pages of this, and I read one more page. Way undershooting my 104 page goal, bringing my week total up to 556. Day four, I dropped the ball on this entirely and decided to read the last 107 pages of ElfQuest Final Quest by Wendy and Richard Beanie. This has no book to movie or TV show adaptation. There is a movie in the works, but there has been since like the 80s. And totally not on target. This was a five out of five though. Love it. Just ordered more. I've been posting online everywhere. I'm like, I got ElfQuest on my brain. I need to read more. I need more. I need more. So I ordered some more last night and so I'm hoping to get them soon. Five out of five. Phenomenal. So read that for 107 and then instead of going back to Dark Knight Returns, I read 60 pages of The Empire's Striketh Back by Ian Dosher, William Shakespeare Star Wars book two, technically book five, because he's done all the movies now. For a total of 167 pages each, overshooting my 104 page goal, bringing my week total up to 723. From then on, I didn't do too well. But on day five, I read the last 80 pages of The Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller, Claus Jansen, and Lynn Varley. Didn't introduce that first, sorry. That was my day total. I wanted to get this done on day five. I did, bringing my week total up to 102. I gave this a four out of five stars just because it's very dated. This is an 80s comic and you can tell. Quite often with Batman, they have worked hard at trying to make it a little more timeless. This is from the 80s, you can tell. The movie is timeless. It could be in the 80s, it could be in the 90s, it could be in the future, but this, is from the 80s. Did enjoy that. Very glad I have it. This is not part one like I kept thinking. This is the entirety of this comic. Day six, I read a further 64 pages in The Empire Striketh Back, undershooting my 86 page goal, but overshooting where I wanted to be in the week, which was halfway through this. So it brought my week total up to 862. 
Day seven, I read the last 45 pages of The Empire Striketh Back. I gave it five out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. It, again, undershot my 86 page goal, but my goal was to finish this for the day, and I did. My goal was all of these for 730 pages. When I added this in, it totaled up to 907 pages all together. I did great, I think. I have not done too great in the past few ones that I felt I wasn't really satisfied. I set a lower bar for myself and I added this in and overshot it. I'm pretty thrilled. I didn't get over to The People of Sparks by Gian Duprow like I was hoping for. I did not also pick up The Jedi Both Return by Ian Josher, which I wanted to also try to start, but I started that already today. So I did pretty great. I did not participate in Booktubeathon. I knew I couldn't do it especially with this job you're supposed to film seven days and upload I can't do that and have a job I can't maybe if I had school I could but I work in the evenings which is when these videos are supposed to go up and I barely get them up in the week I have had a bad couple of weeks so I knew I couldn't even participate this year I just it just didn't happen maybe next year I can do it but not this year but I'm very very satisfied with how I did all right thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to see more book review Fridays are back I'm actually going to film my video for Friday right after this good luck with your reading I hope that you enjoyed this I hope that if you did either read a thon that you did good if you finished an entire book great because not everybody got to finish anything and I finished five books I finished every book I started so I'm very satisfied with that and I will see you in the next video total up to 555 pages. I read the last 79 pages, or no, 80 pages. It's 80 pages. Undershoot it, gave it 4 out of 4.5 out of 5. No. I gave it, I gave it, I gave it, let's just go with 5.